Okay guys, so we're starting out with the skin and I am priming using Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade, so it's the yellowy shade. Just applying that all over my face with my fingers. Then I'm going in with foundation and I'm using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorite foundations now. I'm just applying it using a Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki. So I'm just pretty much dribbling it all over my face and doing one layer and then I'm just adding a little bit more on the areas where I need more coverage. Then I'm going to cream contour using the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick. You guys know I've been loving this so I'm applying it all around the perimeters of my face. Then I'm just using my Sigma Angled Top Kabuki to buff this into the skin. I love this brush for buffing in my cream contour, it's like the perfect shape. And then I just went back in with my foundation brush and just made sure that all of the edges were blended. I had no extra product, but I just made sure everything was seamless. Then moving on to the brows, I am using Benefit Cabrow. So I'm just brushing my hairs upwards and sort of brushing any product out of them. And then I'm just taking the Cabrow and I am just drawing a line basically along the bottom and the top of my eyebrows and then filling them in using upward strokes kind of thing. You guys have seen me do my brows a million times but I will do a updated routine soon. Um, and here I'm just applying some concealer just to carve out the bottoms of my brows just to make them look a bit sharper. Then I'm going in with the Browsings also by Benefit and I'm just using this through the brows just to make it look sort of more hair-like and a bit more bushy. Then moving on to the eyes, I'm using Benefit Air Patrol Primer and I'm just applying this all over my eyelids. Then just buffing it out using my Sigma Bake Precision Brush, I think this one is. And yeah, I'm just blending that all out. Then going in with my new Tarte Tartist Pro palette. Um, I love this palette so 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 much so I'm just taking the light cream shade and I'm just putting this all over my eyelids to create a nice base and then going in with this warm toned brown shade to act as a transition shade all through the crease and I'm using my Sigma E40 brush. Then I'm just taking some tape and I'm applying it to the corners of my eyes to create a nice crisp line. And now I'm taking this like wine mulberry kind of shade it reminds me of just on the same Sigma E40 and I'm just buffing this into the crease and like concentrating it sort of on the outer portion of my eyelid and then just building up the color in the outer corner. Then I'm taking the shade next to it which is like a deep wine berry kind of shade and I'm using a Sigma E25 brush because it's more precise and I'm just using it in the outer corner and the crease but keeping it a little bit lower so it's very precisely in the crease this time. And then again just building up with more color along the outer corner and sort of on the, uh, on the lash line. Can I speak? And then I just took my Sigma E40 once again and just made sure all the shades were blended. Then for a cream base on the eyelid, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Rust. So I'm just applying it to my lid and using a Sigma brush to blend that all out. Then I'm taking this beautiful cranberry kind of shimmery shade. These colors are so foiled and beautiful and I'm just applying this over the top of where I applied the cream base. And then again, just in with my E40 brush just to blend the edges. Then for a pop of colour in the middle of the lid, I just took the champagne-y kind of shade and I just used my finger to apply that literally to the very centre of the eyelid and then just went back in with the E25 brush to make sure the edges of that colour were blended. Then I'm taking the matte black from the shade I mean from the palette oh my god and then I'm just building this up in the outer corner along where I have the tape just to make it look like a smoky cat eye kind of thing and once again going in with the blending brush and making sure it's all blended out then for liquid liner I'm using the Maybelline Master Precise liquid liner in black and I'm just creating a nice big kind of wing 
And then I'm just going to remove the tape, which is oh so satisfying, and apply some eyeliner in my tight line. This one is my favorite Tarte Man Eater eyeliner. Then I'm just curling my lashes and applying a coat of the Tarte Lash Paint Mascara. And the falsies I used are the Ardell Foam Mink Lashes in, I think, 812. Okay, so my camera kind of wasn't filming when I was applying my concealer, but I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape just under my eyes and down the center of my face. And then I'm going to bake underneath my eyes using the RCMA No Color Powder and then just set the rest of my face using the same powder. To contour my face, I'm using the Pure Cosmetics Glow Together Bronzer and I'm using the matte shades from the palette and I'm just bronzing and contouring up my face. And then I'm going in with the shimmery shades and just sort of going over the top and sort of applying this where the sun would hit. And then I'm just dusting away that baking powder and then going in with some blush. This is a Tarte blush. The name will be listed down below. It's from a limited edition palette that came out. And then I'm taking the Pure Cosmetics highlighting palette and applying that with a damp beauty blender just to the tops of my cheekbones, my cupid's bow and on my nose. And then to go over that and give me more of a glow, I'm using the LA Girl uh, strobing powder, I think this is. Um, and I'm loving this, it is so beautiful. Then moving back onto the eyes, I'm taking that cranberry kind of shade again and I'm just using this underneath the lower lash line with my E40 brush, so just buffing it kind of messily. Then going in with the wine shade next to it and I'm using a E30 pencil brush just to smudge this right along that lower lash line. And then going in with the black and doing the same thing just keeping it really close to the lash line and joining it up in the outer corner where it joins the other eyeshadows. And then I just took the shimmery cranberry shade and basically mimicked what I have on the top lid kind of thing. I applied this underneath, then I applied the champagne shade just in the middle, kind of like how I did on the upper lid. And then I just took the LA Girl Strobe Powder for an inner corner highlight and applied my Manita eyeliner into my waterline just to give it more of a smoky kind of effect. And then I applied some mascara to my lower lashes. Then to finish up the look, I am using a Models Preferred lip liner. Models Prefer is like an Australian drugstore brand, but it's just a creamy nude lip liner basically. And I just outlined my lips and then filled them in using the Tardis lip paint in Namaste, which is a beautiful nude. And that completed the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.